Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. I am going to do my August favorites, and this is a redo because I tried doing this once and I lost the video or something. I don't know. First, I want to start, start off with a clothing item that I absolutely love, and I got this from Body Central. This dress, it is gorgeous, and it's got the like. Now the long straps, but oh my god, look at the colors. And then it just goes like that. It is the most beautiful and most comfortable dress I have ever worn, and it is just so pretty. So I have been loving this. Um, okay, now let's get into uh, makeup and stuff. First, let's start off with skincare. So I have been putting this CoverGirl and Olay stuff to the test. And this is the Olay Fresh Effects um, Facial Scrub, and I forget what the name of it's called because it's off. It's like mango or something. I don't know. But oh my god, this stuff is amazing. It's better than I expected it to be. It really cleans your face and just makes you look absolutely gorgeous. Um, I still stick with my philosophy. Um, what is it called? Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. Ever since I bought that, my skin has been as smooth as a baby's bottom. But this stuff is really good. I use this during the daytime. The Philosophy Exfoliator I use at night. Um, but this scrub, this face wash, is so amazing. I highly recommend you guys try it out. Um, yeah, I've been loving that. And to go with it is the Olay Fresh Effects Do Over Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. I swear this is what it looks like. Now you guys know that it's just like a gel. You guys know that Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Gel Moisturizer is my holy grail moisturizer. And I will never ever repurchase anything but that. But this is, I swear, it is a dupe. And I've been using that Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Moisturizer, Gel Moisturizer, for a very long time. And let me tell you something, this is its twin sister. This is the same exact thing, and it's only like, what, seven, eight bucks? So, I mean, it's the same exact thing. But the Philosophy one does apply much more smoother and makes you just, I don't know, it makes you look more glowing, as if this one just... It does the same thing, but it doesn't add as much glow. But it is definitely a dupe because it performs the same way. So I use this as a um, primer for my face. I have been doing the moisturizer for a primer instead of actual primers because I find that if you use a moisturizer instead of a primer, your makeup goes on flawlessly. So I've been doing that for months now, and I have noticed a huge difference in my makeup instead of using a primer. So I recommend you guys try that. Okay, so that's all for skincare. Oh, and next one, and then this. The Body Shop Body Butter. Um, this one. Ugh, I went back to this. I've been using the Josie Moran um, Argan, Argan Body Butter in um, Vanilla Apricot. But then I went back to this. I just got a little sample of it. And ugh, I forgot how much I love this stuff. So I've been loving this all month long. Um, let's go on to brushes. Okay, I have been, so, I have this big, this It Cosmetics brush collection, you know, this, and I got it during the 21 Days of Beauty, and it just comes with a bunch of brushes. Oh my god, and I never wanted to use them because I didn't want to get them dirty because they're so pretty and white and they're just gorgeous. So, and I'm like, what the hell? They're brushes. I can always clean them. So I've been using these all month long, and I I just picked up more from Ulta because they were having the it brushes by Ulta or whatever. So I just picked up a whole shitload more. I kid you not. From the Lux collection, the Airbrush collection, I just picked up a whole shitload more. And then this brush right here is amazing for powder, this side, and this side is amazing for concealer. Love it. I don't know why I kept those brushes. It's like I just kept them in my drawer and was like, oh, I don't want to use you because you're too pretty. But I've been using them and I 
don't know why I never used them before. They're amazing. Um, okay, and for setting spray, I have been actually been loving this Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. This is just a little tiny sample because I don't like to buy the big ones because the only big one by Urban Decay that I will buy is the B6 Vitamin Complexion Prep Spray because that's like my holy grail. But this is amazing. So, um, and that they have like packs of two that you can buy on Ulta.com for like 12 bucks. So if I do want to purchase, repurchase it again, I'll just go that route and it's the same exact size. But this stuff is amazing. It makes your makeup stay on all day long. And it's not just for oil, oily skin people. I have dry skin, so normal to dry skin. So this works amazing for setting my makeup. Um, okay, now let's move on to actual makeup. So all month long, I have not been able to put down this Maybelline Fit Me collection. So I have the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 240... Um, golden beige oh my goodness I don't know if they changed the formula in this or what they did because I've tried this before a long time ago and I remember I did not like it but they must have done something because it is the shit I swear this thing is amazing I love it and I have not been able to put it down since I got it along with the concealer this is a dupe for the NARS radiant creamy concealer this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25 Medium. Oh my gosh. Everything that I, I am showing you I have on my face right now. This is definitely a dupe. I put them side by side. I put them to the test and it is a dupe. But this one I think is much better and it just it's amazing. So love that. And the powder, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 240 Golden Beige. Holy moly. This powder has, it's just so soft. It's so amazing. It feels, it's very lightweight. It feels like you're putting nothing on your face. I love it, love it, love it, love this whole freaking collection. And I've also been loving this Milani Face Powder in Dark Tan. This stuff, I love Milani. But this face powder, you can use it as a bronzer, you can use it as an all-over face powder, whatever you want. I, it's just, it works in so many ways and I just love it about it that I can actually do a contour with it. I can do whatever I want with it. I can use it as an actual, um, like a powder foundation and a contour, so love that. Also, another bronzer that I have been loving is the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Bomb. This freaking bronzer is the most gorgeous bronzer. Now you, it looks kind of muddy, but when you apply it to your skin, it is the perfect color for me anyway. I just, I can't stop using this and the packaging is adorable. So what more do you want? Um, yeah. So that is like, that's one awesome freaking bronzer. It's very pigmented and I mean, it's, oh, I can't get enough of it. Okay, let's move on. So for blush, I have, I have two blushes actually. Um, the first one is this e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. And I have a huge, I still never uploaded that either. Sonia Kashuk, Elf, Sonia Kashuk, whatever the heck her name is, and a couple more things, a big haul from Target, but look at this color, it's like, it goes from light, look how friggin' pigmented that is, I am shocked by the way that this blush is, how pigmented it is, look at that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. So that is the e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. It's amazing. I highly recommend this, guys. Go pick it up. The other blush I have been absolutely in love with is the Cargo Blush in Mendocino. Can we just talk about this packaging, the tin? It is gorgeous. There is so much freaking product in there. It's like a purpley, um, sparkly blush kind of. 
and it kind of reminds me of what is it? One of Nars's blushes. God, I can't think of the name. You know what I'm talking about. If you you like makeup and you, you know what I'm talking about. But this is Mendocino by Cargo, and it reminds me of a blush by Nars, but I can't think of the freaking name. Okay, for highlighter, I have been loving, I've always loved this, but I've been using the shit out of this Hello Light Illuminating Powder um, Highlighter by It Cosmetics. It is gorge, guys. Go pick it up since Ulta, all Ulta's carry It Cosmetics now. And it's only like 20 something bucks and it's just like the Becca ones, the Becca Moonstone and Opal and all that that people rave about. I have the the cream one and then this one and they remind me of those Becca ones so much more and these are cheaper and I think they're actually better so that's my opinion. Okie dokie for brows I've been using this Lorac Take a Brow Kit. I don't want this video to be super long. I do not like the little brush it comes with or the wax, but the actual powders, OMG, they are the bomb.com. So, but the wax and the brush, and how cute is this little thing? It's just so adorable. Yeah. So, and for mascara, I've been loving this Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. I like the packaging. And the wand is awesome. This mascara is amazing. If you have not tried it, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, because it is freaking awesome. And yes, I still have the packaging. I save all my packages just in case I travel, whatever the case may be. For ugh, eyeshadow all month, I have been using the shit out of the Lorac Unzipped. Um, yeah, my favorite color in here is Unbelievable. You can tell I've been using the shit out of that. Um, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. If you like the Lorac Pro, um, then you would love this because these colors are just unlike anything I've ever seen before. So I've been using the shit out of that. Uh, eyeshadow primer, been using the Milani eyeshadow primer in nude, you know, whatever. Yeah, like that. Love that. Lipstick. This is on my lips right now. Too Faced La Creme in Teddy Berry. That's what it looks like. Absolutely love these lipsticks. They are so creamy. They are so hydrating. They stay on the lips all day long. They do not go anywhere. I have so many of these and I am so glad I picked them up. Um, I tried one of the melted lipsticks and I don't like them. I know I'll probably get a lot of hate for that, but I do not like those things. Anyway, okay, moving on. Lip gloss. Uh, it Cosmetics CC Plus Lip Serum in Lip Gloss in Love. It's on top of my uh, Too Faced lipstick. It's gorgeous. Look at And it just smells like vanilla. It's just... Oh. And it's got this... CC Plus Serum, Hydrating Serum inside of it, so it makes your lips so smooth and shiny and hydrated all day long, so I definitely highly recommend those lip glosses. And we are just about done here. So, yeah, eyeliner, I have been using the heck out of my NARS eyeliner in Via Vento. been using that because I haven't used it in a long time. And lip liners, I have been loving these Jordana Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencils. I have one in Tawny, Baby Berry, and Sedona Red. These are like three of my favorite lip liners. Um, so yeah, those are my August favorites. Oh, and these wipes. Love these wipes. These Clean and Clear Night Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipes. That's my August favorites. Um, wait, let's do a TV show. I have been watching Game of Thrones nonstop. There are some hot ass freaking guys on that show. It's amazing. I love it. Been watching that like fucking crazy. Excuse my language, but I love that show. If you have not seen it, 
Where have you been? What planet have you been on? Go fucking watch it. It's amazing. I don't read. If I do read, I read a freaking magazine like Cosmopolitan or, you know, something like that. I do not read books. Um, sometimes I will if I'm bored, but, uh, yeah. So those are my August favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Um, on my nails is Essie's Wicked. Yeah, it's Wicked. Uh, love it, and whenever I get my nails done, I always love just doing the tip. I just think it makes it look absolutely beautiful. And you don't have to worry about all the mess on the bottom when you get your nails painted. And it takes 2.5 seconds to dry. So, those are my August favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day. Bye.